So now that we've talked about triplets and how to kind of play triplets with our, with our right hand using that sort of stutter step, ba da ka da um, now I want to show you a really fun thing you can do with that that falls really well within kind of our, uh, our modern tradition of flat picking. And that is playing these Clarence White kind of blue note um, hammer-ons and pull-offs. So Clarence, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with Clarence White, He's just one of the all-time architects um, of this music. He was kind of one of the originators of flat picking. He and Doc Watson were among the very first um, kind of virtuoso guitar players who kind of took playing fiddle tune melodies uh, and brought it to the guitar. And they were just so influential. As the late, great uh, Tony Rice once said, uh, according to Tony, he said, Clarence White's the one we all have to say yes, sir, to. So that says it right there. Clarence was Tony's hero. And Clarence was very creative, had all these cool uh, syncopations and colors that he played with. And one of my favorite Clarence-isms, Clarence licks, is these, uh, you know, what I just call the kind of Clarence White blue note, you know, pull-offs. And that, that, that is, he would play... Um, Basically, that lick. That's that's basically the sound. But he would get so much music out of that, and it has it has so much um, sass. There's so much sass to that um, that uh, it's just kind of a classic lick, and that's that's what I want to show you because. Once you've got that down, and once once you kind of understand um, the mechanics of how to accomplish that lick between your right and left hands, then you can start deploying it in a lot of places. And rather than sounding, you know, kind of flashy and you know like that, you can you can start bringing in these cool syncopation, um, and still have it feel pretty connected to something that's classic. Okay. So let me show you how to do this. So let's say we're in the key of C. The first form of this that I'm going to show you is going to be that. So what's he doing here? Well, there, there are kind of a, a few slurs. The first thing he's doing, so we're in C, right? We got a major third. You know, C, that's kind of our, our tonality. We're kind of in this major scale harmony thing. And so Clarence, because he liked playing with tonality and he liked playing with tonal colors, he kind of would start, he would, uh, he, or he started rather superimposing some of these kind of bluesier notes in over a really major scale harmony. He wasn't the first person to do it. I mean, Bill Monroe did it all the time and, and you know, people playing blues have been doing that for forever. It's he didn't invent that, but he kind of really brought it. Um, he really made it a feature of his style of flat picking. So we got the C chord. It's really major sounding, and then he would hammer on from the minor third up to the major third. So the first three notes of that are going to be, we're going to start on our first finger on the flat third, hammer into the major third, and then play an upstroke on the G string. So we could just, we could just leave it there. But what makes it, what kind of makes this more of the Clarence thing is that he'll then do this pull off from that same blue note. Um, they'll pull off to the open string and then play the root. And then the open D and then the seventh and then the one. So. And 
again, you can see I'm uh, uh, keeping that kind of stutter step rhythm in my right hand. Do, da, bo, da, ba, uh, uh. Do, da, do, da, 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 da. Okay. You could also do that over a G chord. Here's our G. Here's our major third. Here's our flat third then. So it transposes absolutely perfectly. So if you can do it on C, you can totally do it on G. Back to C. Guess what? It works over an F too. This time, you don't have the open string uh, right here. You're going to have to use your first finger to catch this note. But then you can pull back off. So it's almost exactly the same. Such a great lick. Another variation you could do on that you could kind of uh, you could kind of skip the seventh right there so the first part of this lick would be exactly the same one two three four one you can just do that just leave this note out that's something that the great uh, Larry Sparks, I kind of feel like that's a, that's a lick that he plays a lot. He'll just leave out that seventh, but it kind of makes it even funkier. Uh, and you can displace that on the beat a little bit. Okay, so that's kind of a simple introduction to these Clarence White blue pull-offs. And, and he has all kinds of, there, there's so many variations and so many ways that you can syncopate that once you kind of get into that world that I would encourage you to listen to some Clarence White. Um, try playing some yourself. You know, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. You can string them together. <laughs> kinds of stuff with them. Um, so I, I encourage you to just check out uh, some Clarence and try and figure some of these out yourself. If you've got any questions about other specific things you're trying to do with that, it's a great opportunity to send me a video and ask me a question. Um, but I'd like for you to kind of go exploring. Do kind of, um, you know, do some, do some exploring on your own and uh, see if you can figure out fun ways to integrate these into your own playing. <laughs>